Jesus before Anna St. John, the Evangelist, writes that Jesus was hastily taken from the Garden of Gethsemane to Anna's, the father-in-law of the high priest Caiaphas. Anna's was appointed the high priest in 12 AD, followed by his son Eliezer, then his son-in-law Caiaphas and subsequently four other sons. It would appear that, although Anna's was no longer the high priest of the Sanhedrin, he retained very considerable powers. Anna's quizzed Jesus about his Christian preaching and his close followers, the disciples. He was likely to have been trying to quickly entrap Jesus, showing that he had committed a crime and that he incited others to rise up against the Jewish faith. Jesus replied, I have spoken publicly to the world. I always taught in the synagogues and in the temple courts, where all the Jewish people assembled together. I have said nothing in secret. Why do you ask me? Ask those who heard what I said. They know what I said. John 18 20-21, when a nearby officer struck Jesus on the face saying, Is that the way you answer the high priest? Jesus replied, If I have said something wrong, confirm what is wrong. But if I spoke correctly, why strike me? John 18 22-23, Anna's made nothing of his questioning of Jesus, no wrongdoing and no evidence. Anna's then sent Jesus, still bound, to Caiaphas, the high priest of the Sanhedrin. How open-minded am I? Do I decide if someone is guilty before I question them? Sadly, many people do and the treatment Jesus received from Anna's was no different. Lord Jesus, grant me the grace of discernment so that my reaction towards others is respectful and dignified. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in pastures green, He leads me beside quiet waters, He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and kindness will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Listen and reflect. Pause and talk. 26 December, Corporal Works of Mercy They include tending to the dead. Many people die alone and are left alone. Pray for the dead, our Father. Chapter 18, The Passion of Jesus, Story No. 3 of 22, Matthew 26 57-68, Mark 14 53-65, Luke 22 54-71, John 18 13-24.